I don't know how else to open up a video, so it's just going to be me and Sasha. Say, say hi, Sasha. Say hi, Sasha. My living teddy bear says hi. So, let's talk about some scary movies. What's going on my YouTube subscribers, horror fans, like hope you guys are having an amazing start to your weekend because The Nun 2 is officially now in theaters for the whole world to watch. The newest movie in the Conjuring series is officially out now for everybody to check it out. I got that back from seeing it for a second time. It's still good. It's definitely better than the first Nun, I'll give it that. It's definitely a horror movie that I feel like, you know, it's a bit of fresh air, some from the reality, but I think as far as if not the other Conjuring movies and the Conjuring verse goes, this one is definitely like a solid entry. Look at the dust, some things more extreme, more different, you know, and it keeps it in the pocket more. Like, it doesn't like venture off so much to just like, yeah, what's on Twitter? I appreciate that, but I get the question is, where does it place among the other Conjuring movies in the Conjuring universe? Because there's a lot of all. From the original three Conjuring movies to the original Annabelle movie to the spin-off, there's a lot of Conjuring movies in the Conjuring universe. I'm saying Conjuring a lot. So let's just talk about it while you click on the video, right? Let's find out where the Nun 2 places amongst the movies in the Conjuring universe. So here we go. That's the Curse of La Llorona. That's that's a bottom tier in the Conjury movie. I remember a movie coming out and it was like, okay, Curse of La Llorona, like, okay, you know, it could be kind of its own little possession movie, whatever, whatever. And then like out of nowhere, it was just like, oh, by the way, it's part of the Conjury universe. It was just like, oh, well, maybe that makes it better. I just remember watching it. I was just like, this movie is shit, even if it was in the Conjury universe. But the fact that it is kind of just brings the universe down as a whole. So yeah, Curse of La Llorona, Definitely number nine. Here's number eight. Number eight for me should definitely be like, a, oh yeah, totally agree with you, man. Definitely this one. Gonna be Annabelle, the original. Remember when The Conjuring first came out, Conjuring 2 came out, we're just like, yes, horror is just back, it's awesome, and that damn Annabelle doll, creepy as shit, wanna get its own movie. Movie, I think it was 2014, it got its own movie, we're just like, and I just remember like one good scene in that movie it was the basement scene. That's all you remember from Annabelle, the first one. Just like, ah oh, yeah, that boring husk of shit, Annabelle. Ah, oh, that ain't it. Now for number seven on the list. Number seven is another Annabelle movie. Definitely the third one. Annabelle comes home, pretty much night of the museum in the Warren house. Again, it's one of those like, okay, the second Annabelle movie was pretty decent and now we're like, okay, we're going to the third one. It's like, oh, what happens when Annabelle comes home and all the little evil trinkets come to life and shit, all the spirits are just terrorizing the house and shit. Get a pretty lackluster movie. I remember like one part from the movie, I think I, what are you eating? I'd like watch sit you down for this entire video so you don't eat things. Okay. She's going to be with me for the next couple of ones. So that was, Number seven, Annabelle comes home. That was a bad one. Okay, moving to the next one. Here we go. Coming number six is definitely going to be The Conjuring 3. The Devil Made Me Do It. Remember that one came on, uh, what was that, HBO Max? Was that last year? Was that last year? It was the year before. I remember. I just remember that, like, okay, Conjuring 3 is coming out. We're all hyped up for it because now it's back to be in a return to form. And I remember it came out, and I was just like, ugh, it's just like, uh, uh, no. Especially after all the spinoffs were kind of shit at that point, so we're thinking like, now we're getting back to what, you know, what made the franchise great. And it just wasn't. It was just a lackluster story. It was hardly scary. It didn't do anything new. It was just like, uh, uh, uh that wasn't it, Chief. You are so hot, because you're so full of fur, so I'm going to put you down. But that was Conjuring, don't make me do it. So here is the next one. Roll it. Step number five for me, definitely going to be The Nun, the original Nun, the first one, 2018. That one's like right in the middle of the pocket of the franchise. I remember The Nun, you see her in The Conjuring 2, were just like a more scary shit. I feel like Conjuring 2 was the movie where it's just like, I want to see some spinoffs, let's do it. Just like, all oh, the spinoffs have just been kind of shit. But it's like, it's a trend because the first movie be shit, but then the second movie is like, oh, that's just what the first movie should have been. It was good. I remember The Nun being kind of like, it's, uh, and, but after seeing The Nun too, I'm kind of just like, okay, these two movies do kind of go together hand in hand, so they kind of kind of be like, if you look at it as a whole, it's pretty decent. The nuns, number five, straight down the middle. Here's number four, top four. 
number four for me, definitely gonna be Annabelle Creation. Now that was the good Annabelle movie. That was like, it was scary. It was, you know, it was right in the pocket with kids in a house, Annabelle. You got some lore, some backstory that actually fed into the first Annabelle movie perfectly and kind of nice little conjuring tie in too. So I like that. So Annabelle 4, Annabelle Creation was definitely a nice, good, like that's, that's the Annabelle movie that I'm gonna remember, you're gonna remember too. The top three movies, there's only three left, so it's kind of like, well, what's the number one, what's, what are they? Here's number three. <laughs> number three for me, it's easily The Nun 2, just came out. Top three in the Conjuring verse. The movie does bring new ideas, new things to the table, new lore, it, again, it kind of does what Annabelle Creation does, it's kind of like, yeah, fits into the Conjuring universe mold, does its own thing, it's that with just some backstory. Pretty decent scares, pretty effective scares, not too many jump scares. I thought it was a pretty solid movie. I felt like the nun, Valak, she did more in this movie than she did in her last movie. Kind of like up there Conjuring 2 level, so that's why I, that's number three. And the top two movies, only two left, so like, which is interchangeable. So here's number two. Number two for me, I think I'm gonna make it the first country movie, and I'll tell you why. The first country movie, when it first hit the scene, like I said, I felt like it was like right in that renaissance of like, I think we got that, then Insidious, and then uh, Cabin in the Woods. It was just like this renaissance of just amazing horror movies. There was a time where horror movies were like knocking them out, like we didn't have to worry about them. I was kind of just like, Please be good. Conjury 1, I had a good time with it. It's definitely, I feel like a classic at this point. One of the great selected, really effective scares, really believable stuff. Introduced to the Warrens, who we love. And yeah, Conjury 1 just did it. That means number one's definitely gotta be this. one for me is easily The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring 2, yes! Conjuring 2 does everything what a sequel should do, but better story going introduces new ideas new lore new things new stuff this was the movie that i remember seeing a screener for it and i was driving home i had to look at my rear view mirror and shit think of like what, what did i see there that was a movie that stuck with me that's what horror movies should do they should stick with you and that's what the conjuring 2 still does to me still sticks to my gut still remember the crooked man when the, i think it was a little kid or whatever he was sitting next to something and it just transformed into fucking jack skeleton i was just like what 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 what, what the fuck is that watching my brother who was just like the Crooked Man, I want his own movie. Will we get it? Who knows? And then that's where I placed The Nun 2 at. I'm on the Conjuring Universe movies. I felt like The Nun 2, definitely a good direction to revitalize this franchise. What is your top three Conjuring movies or you think type below? Let me know, let's talk about it. Go see The Nun 2, it's officially in theaters now. What do you think about it? And yes, enjoy your weekend, guys. See you next video. And as always, subscribe. Until next time. <laughs>